Okay, right, I want to um, movie two now. This is the, the camera bag. The, as I mentioned last night, the intention is to split all this gear up because you can see these boxes and bags full of gear. And it needs splitting up into individual boxes, event one, event two, event three, and so on. Um, but because mostly it's just myself or me and Alan just been going on, I have different bags for different things. So this is maybe like my camera box. So this will be split up. So let's go through some stuff we've got here. Okay, there's three tripods. Very good, these extendable legs. So you can. You don't necessarily have to carry the camera around you. There's a couple of three point tripods there. There is a larger one as well, um, for, which is quite good for movies and so on. This is the more intricate of the, the cameras. This is the um, the one which is f uh, full spectrum ultraviolet. I'll switch that on. And you'll see what I mean with this. See if I can get it in there, a bit of darkness. The colour it's going to do is infrared. I said, I was have a go at switching the, the light off. Okay. I need to get some light on this. Yeah, it's quite difficult um, to actually see the screen. I need to get it in darkness. But I catching little glimpses of it. It's trying to get some point. Hey, yeah, you can see it a little bit better there. It works with zero light, that's how it works. Uh, this will take still photography, if I can do it with one hand, that is. Let's take a photograph. As you can see that, I'll, if I can get it off, I'll. Uh, it's quite difficult because you need complete darkness for this thing to work. But the idea, it it, um, it will take photographs in uh, ultraviolet. Now at the top, you can see this quite strange handle device. I'll switch that off a minute. But if you see, if you know what ultraviolet is, that's what it will do. If you're doing a movie because the, the actual flash in it is ultraviolet so you can take a photograph completely down this and you won't hear anything is this device here that actually attaches to the end of the, uh, the handle and, and that will display the uh, full spectrum light or uh, the um, ultraviolet light uh, as a battery pack which is uh, somewhere in my bag so if you want to do movies, that's fine. So if you use it as something like other than the laser grid, that's ideal because you don't actually see it. Um, the only, it will record in ultraviolet, but you don't actually see it at the time. So that's uh, what that one's about. Let's have a look in here. I think this is just a normal camera, this one. What I try to do with this is to keep all the stuff as small as possible because you can go around carrying boxes, so there's a kind of very small, very similar to this one. That's just normal, normal vision. Likewise with this one, so that's another, another camera. This time, flick out screen. So this, what we've got here is full spectrum, uh, ultraviolet, normal camera, normal camera, photographs are. Um, movies in either of them uh in the big box there is the cctv which uh films in hd infrared so we've got all three um spectrums covered normal normal ultraviolet infrared with the cctv so if anything is there then we should pick it up okay uh we've got charging packs these are quite handy as you can see you just flick it on um These again are uh, laser triggers here, so yeah, you just leave them there and anything passes it, it's going to pick him up. There's a couple of those. So, right now, we've seen various charges, spare batteries. I 
thing. That's about it for this bag. There's another one. Yeah. Yeah, there's the uh, the power pack for the uh, ultraviolet. Uh, takes uh, I think about twelve batteries. That thing, but fortunately they're all rechargeable. Right, I think that's that'll do for that one. So as far as photography goes, and for movie, we've got all three spectrums covered quite nicely, and stuff small enough to to carry around without any great uh, without any great problem.